Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. Now let's talk about Ghana's Most Beautiful. The first edition happened in 2007. And I can imagine uh, the nostalgic feelings you're having right now because I remember at that time everybody was excited about this new direction with pageants, giving young women the opportunity not only to display beauty but a lot of intelligence as well. Um, and of course, with a difference. This time around, showing the world the knowledge they had acquired about the various regions in Ghana. And this, in a different way, was given um, you know, prominence to our regions, to our culture. And over the years, it's been ongoing. We've seen so many young women women partake in this beauty pageant and they've all moved on uh, to embark on various projects uh, to continue living their lives and one thing I can say is that any contestant whether winner or just contestant of Ghana's Most Beautiful has um, you know progressed in life and they've added on in various ways and so today we're going to be talking about that and the fact that all these contestants plus winners are coming together for a worthy cause and they're going to be telling us all about it and also uh, as we're gearing up for the 14th edition of Ghana's Most Beautiful we're going to be dropping some nuggets of wisdom from some past winners and some contestants as well just to encourage these young women who are partaking in this year's edition to know exactly what road to take and how they can also add on to their lives. And so in the studios currently, I have the 2010 uh, winner of Ghana's Most Beautiful, Ama. I know right now she is, how do I call it? You run your own school. So you're a proprietress, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, she joins us this morning. Good morning. How good are morning, you? Good morning, Bella. Very well. Thanks yourself. I'm good. Thank you very much. And all the way back in 2007, this was the first edition. We have Nana, and she represented the Eastern region. She emerged th third or fourth? Fourth. Fourth, actually. Yes. And, you know, I'm sure you're wondering. 2007, what were you doing? You probably were still, you know, wearing diapers. Here you are. <laughs> About to find out how this transformed Nana's life and also Ama being the winner, what it meant for her uh, to partake in Ghana's Most Beautiful. So Nana, you're also welcome. Thank you, Bella. 2007, what, what were you doing at that time and how did you decide to take part mm. in Ghana's Most Beautiful? Thank you very much. And a wonderful morning to everyone mm. watching us. Um... I just saw the ad on TV and I felt like, ah, this is it. I want to join this pageant mm. just because it wasn't like the other pageants. Okay. It had um, the traditions of Ghana mm. and then it was meant for, you know, my age mates could also go and, you know, the plus exactly. size. So I, I felt like, oh, let me, let me be part of this. Okay. I remember telling my mom and my auntie that I want to join this. And they were like, hey, please don't try it. <laughs> oh. But then, God being so good, I went through the auditioning. 250 young ladies mm -hmm. slashed down to 10. Mm. And I was part of them. Do you grace. remember how your auditions went? Do you remember the questions they asked you, what you had yes. to do? I remember the very first um, stage mm -hmm. where late F.O. Baogbe. Yeah. And Auntie Linda, mm. they started, you know, asking the questions. But one thing I realized was my strength, my smile. Mm. So any question they asked, I'll just smile and uh, nodding. And then I remember <laughs> they asked a question. Um, can you sing any song from your region? Yeah. And I said, oh, please, I don't remember any song from my region, but I will go and borrow one. From, from the Ashanti another. region. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they fell in love with me. Yeah. And then we moved to the next stage the next day. And fortunately. And here I, you are I, today. I, I got one interesting thing uh -huh. was when we were slashed down to three. Mm -hmm. And when they said, oh, you've all done well, but there's just one person who's going to represent. I just came back because I looked at the other two mm. and I was like, hey, no, uh, no. This, this can't be you. <laughs> so when they mentioned my mm. name, I was... Aww. Mm. And so here you are today. It must have been a very interesting journey for you throughout the competition. Very, very Because this was totally different. Oh, yes. Before I even come to Amma, tell me, so how different was it for you? Because I'm sure every week you had to learn something new sure. about the Ours region. was tough. Mm. Because we were the pioneers. First <laughs> born. Yeah. And we didn't have, uh, now they have access to internet. the internet, yes, and, you know, yes. we didn't have access to the internet mm. and you have to, uh, the, the tax given to you, you have to do, do what your best. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to Ghana Dance, Dance Ensemble, Ensemble. Yeah. 
and they also did their part. But majority of the things that we did came from us, mm. the, the, the contestants. The contestants. Am I, you, you won in 2010. Mm -hmm. Did you ever envisage that you'd get to that point? Um, I mean, uh, for the fact that I got my time Eastern Region, I think we were about 50 contestants. 50? 50 auditioning. Yeah. Oh, auditioning wow. Auditioning to represent Eastern Region. Okay. So the moment I was picked out of the 50, I'm like, if I could beat 49 other ladies, then why not nine? Exactly. Because at the time it was 10, now it's 60. Uh -huh. So if I could beat 49 other ladies, then why not nine? So, oh, no, you were very optimistic. Yeah. What I do you had think my you did differently the... during the auditions, first I of think all? Have, um, during the auditions, I was very unassuming. Mm. I kept to myself. Uh, you find me sitting quietly. And then once I get in there, I'm a different person altogether. Okay. So Are these the qualities you had during the competition as well? Yes. During the competition, I was sort of the underdog. They didn't see me coming. At all. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't see me. People didn't. I mean, very unassuming. At what point did people start realizing I that you... I think probably at the... F during fourth, fifth week. Uh-huh. Yeah. But unfortunately for me, I was always up for eviction. Oh, why? I, I didn't have the votes. Oh. I was good, but the votes weren't coming in. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I think my time, instead of four finalists, um, they started taking six finalists. Oh, so that's what saved you? Yes, because I was that good, Bambi was that good, and we were up for eviction a couple of times. Mm. I, I like to say to myself that at that time, if Ama wasn't in the show, if Bambi wasn't in the show, there wasn't a show. Absolutely. There wasn't a show. So they couldn't, there was no way they could have evicted the two of us and take other people to the finals. So then they had to carry all six of us to the finals, and then the first stage of the finals, they evicted two. What was your best performance during the weeks mm, in the competition? I think that would be the week I did the, the depot rights because okay. I had a standing ovation from the judges. Really? Yeah, the rights of passage. So yeah, I did the depot rights. So did from you go? Yes, I did. Oh, guys, yes. I see. How did I miss this? Because <laughs> you were also in Miss Malaka. Exactly, so you're probably I did that too. On okay, that's yeah, the true. Same the year. same year. Yes. Oh, okay, that yeah. explains it. Uh -huh. so, but congratulations. Thank you. How has it changed your life? Ooh, um, I, I always like to say to people that TV is powerful. It's been 10 years, uh -huh. long ago, but I mean, it is still very powerful. It is very, uh, it has impacted my life. I mean, before GMB, I was just a girl next door. Mm. That's um, now God has uplifted to royalty status via Ghana's Most Beautiful. Yeah. The platform is huge. Mm. The platform is huge. I like to tell young ladies that um, winning is not the ultimate. Mm -hmm. Winning is usually not, not the ultimate. It's, it's about what you make of the platform that has been given to you. Absolutely. So, yeah, the platform is, is, is What huge. did you make of the platform that was given um, to you? For me, uh, my, my project was on education, career okay. guidance, mentoring, and empowerment. Mm. I mean, after I handed over, I had to choose whether I'll stay in Ghana and focus on the the fun, the glamour, and everything, mm -hmm. or go better myself. Okay. In terms of education, so I traveled to South Africa to continue education. I did uni in South Africa. Okay. Studied child psychology and then early childhood development, and then yeah, I'm back home. Set up my Running own Montessori own school. school. So yeah, very impressive. Thank you. How about you, Nana? Mm -hmm. So what really changed after after the competition? I'm sure that you were hoping to win. <laughs> And that didn't happen. Were you disappointed? Did it affect you in any Not way? At all. Um, there was just one thing in mind. Mm. We were told there was one crown, mm -hmm. one car. Mm -hmm. So it's just doing your best. Um, I wasn't disappointed. I was so excited when I was um, told I happened to be the, the, fourth. the fourth. Yeah. Um, like Amma said, the platform is, you know, so many things have happened. I came in with three children. I had three already? children already. Hmm. So I went back. I did a few businesses here and there. Um, and through GMB, I realized I could MC. Okay. So for the traditional MC, traditional yeah. marriages, uh, it's a plus. Mm. I see. Um, then I had to slow down because of my kids. And then I, I did another, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you went that. Uh -huh. yeah. So yeah. I'm now, <laughs> sort of, I'm now picking up. But okay. it, has, it has taught us how to, you know, move on. Mm. Despite challenges and yeah. all those things. So 
it has added so much value. Yes. As, so as a Ghanaian woman, what do you think that GMB has done to improve our situation? Because we've been talking about inequality, mm -hmm. you know, um, encouraging more women to take up leadership positions. Do you think that it has played any major role? Of course. In promulgating that idea? It has. Um, mm -hmm. In so many ways. Mm -hmm. Like Amma said, I, I I'll go back to what she said. Yeah. She, she chose between... Um, the fame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're not careful, that one will also tear Get you apart. Head. Absolutely. But it, it, it empowers you. Mm. It makes you, on the stage, there are things that you cannot um, think of. You have to do it and, you know, get on. So when you meet any challenge mm -hmm. as a woman, you, you, you just encourage yourself and exactly. then empower yourself. Mm. So it, it, it has brought so much. Yeah. empowerment how has it promoted our culture okay you wanted to, to add, add up, up to that um, yeah. to a very large extent um when i won i was 20 going on 21 mm. and then we we're giving ambassadorial roles as millennium development goal mm. youth ambassadors we had um times where we have to be in parliament mm. to meet all these people so i was young then but i much i had to mature yeah that's right so it it makes you grow Absolutely. it makes yeah. you grow what about Ghana's culture, mm -hmm. how did it also further promote it? Because I, I see that it threw more light mm -hmm. on, on our it. traditions. Sure, right. For me, when I was selected to represent the region, I mean, coming for the auditions, I did my research. I had watched previous seasons, so mm -hmm. I had a bit of an idea what to expect. But when I was selected, we had, I think, three days to before we come to the reality house. I, within that three days, I used that three days to tour the whole of the Eastern region. Mm. I went to Chiefs and Queen Mothers. I did Shy Hills. I did um, Ibri. I did Koforidia. I did Achim. And I went with my recorder okay. and questions that I had to ask. So I sort of interviewed these um, opinion leaders and these yes. traditional leaders. And I realized I knew nothing. I mm -hmm. thought I knew a lot, but I realized I knew nothing when it comes to our customs mm -hmm. and traditions. Mm -hmm. So having that recorder, I played it to myself over mm -hmm. and over and over again. And yo, I'm, I'm a culturally <laughs> oriented, <laughs> oriented woman. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and just to remind you of who our past winners are. So in 2007, Ama from the Central Region emerged winner, and then Adole from the Greater Accra Region in 2008. The Northern Region took charge in 2009 with Nasara, and then Ama, um, well, they have your name here as Nanama. Mm, so yes, that was from the Eastern Region, then the Ashanti Region in 2011, MFI in 2012, Poka in 2013. MFI was from the Volta region and Poka from the Upper East region. Then it was time for the Upper West region with Basiara in 2014. AC uh, for the Western region and then again Yaba for the Western region in 2016. AC it went for Central. Central, okay. Mm -hmm. AC is for Central. Central, okay. Thank you for that correction. Mm -hmm. Zainab from the Northern region. Abina in 2018 won for the Eastern region and our current queen, Ikea. Uh, also from the central region. Now we have 16 regions. We're wondering, are we going to see a new region um, take charge and, you know, give us a queen as well? The auditions are done. We are officially launching um, and unveiling these girls this Sunday. And so look forward to it. But even before we talk about what to expect this weekend, I know that all the past contestants and winners mm -hmm. have come together mm -hmm. for Worthy Cause. Tell me about it. Okay. Um... Where should I start from? <laughs> <laughs> How did it even come about? Uh, well, um, there was this uh, contestant from the second season, season. Mm. who thought of bringing all of us on board. Okay. And um, she, she did that. Erica okay. from the Bronga Hafu region. Mm. And um, we all saw it as a good initiative. initiative. Mm. So we, 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 we joined and... We started, I think, last year. Mm -hmm. mm. Started, you know, with women, you know our issues, know. but then we are <laughs> we are united. Yeah. That's that's one thing we have to we have to take notes of. And so, when this pandemic set in, we thought of doing so many things as young women and our executives, which am I one of them, mm -hmm. planned that okay. Let's do this um, soap, Veronica buckets mm -hmm. and stuff. Sanitizers. Sanitizers and stuff. Mm. But then the lockdown came in and then we, we slowed down. Then we thought of another thing. Once um, it's, it's a must, everyone has to get a max. Yeah. We thought, okay, why don't we give back to, especially the people who were our 
major major, major, major funds. Mm -hmm. The market women. Yeah. We can leave them out. GMB, winner or not, mm. they, they've been part of our, our, our journey. Yeah. And they are women. And they, they meet e people every now and then. So why don't we also show our love and encourage them that um, it's true. There's, this virus is uh, it's affecting a lot of uh, people, mm -hmm. killing a lot of people. So it's, it's best to put on your mat. So okay. we, we, we came on board with funds. Those who had the funds supported, and f here we are. Mm. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, okay. we are sharing face masks to a few People, markets in greater... Markets. Five uh, markets. Yes, five yes. Markets. Thousand, okay. mas thousand, thousand marks, mas yes. To five selected markets right. okay. in, in, in Accra, Accra. Accra. And then one and market one in Kumasi. Kumasi. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. do we know which markets these yes, are? Yes, we're doing, we, we looked at the COVID-19 hotspots. Okay. okay. So Medina markets, mm. Ashaman markets, um, Kanishi, Kanishi, Makola, and then Kejitia. Oh, I see. Markets. Yeah. That's very thoughtful. So, I mean, yeah. we have the queens in, in Kumasi. We've dispatched the, the, the marks yes. to them to be delivered. And then... Selected people, some people live in Tema, they'll do a shaman. I live mm. in Adenta, so okay. I'm in charge of Medina. Okay. I am in charge of Kanishi. Kanishi. So, see. yeah, we've, we've distributed with, with, with a few other. Mm -hmm. The yes. other regions will not be happy. Is there any plan yeah, to extend? We do have plans. We have, we plans. have future projects. I mean, okay. we are in it for the long run. Mm. So, um, we started this. This is this is just, just a, the beginning. a beginning. Okay. So oh. we and it's not it. just going to be face marks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can be other things. Other things. So, GMB United, United, that's what you call it. Yes. yes. Very thoughtful of mm -hmm. you. Thank and since you. you are United, maybe it's time that I ask you, what advice do you have for these young queens who are also emerging? Mm. I keep on saying this from the onset. It's been one crown, one car. So whoever wins, um, I, I, I believe the others have to support the mm. person. We shouldn't be, uh, if, you, if you're in the house and you think you can help a sister, mm. why don't you do it? Yeah. It will take you far. You don't know who is going to help you. Today, mm -hmm. we have GMB United, and some of the young girls are helping some of us. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not that old, but then we have issues. So <laughs> some of them, we never thought would be, help you know, mm -hmm. our, our helpers. They are there. Mm -hmm. So we, we should support one another mm. that is that is all i want to tell the young ladies okay this enviness yeah. is, is not it's not helping in any way mm. they should just be themselves and god will do the rest amen to that amen. how about you Emma, before we go yeah i, I believe say? like she said one crown one car all the other 15 contestants are destiny helpers to just one queen mm. Mm. so they should have that at the back of their mind it's, it will just be one person at the end of the day so have fun just have fun throughout the mm. process and grow grow mm. through the process the reality house teaches a lot of things i mean during my time we had contestants that didn't even know how to use the cutlery mm -hmm. they came to learn that through the house apart from the performances on stage how to live with other people, sure. how to cohabitate with other yeah. people. I mean, 15 other regions, 15 other ladies, individual differences, a lot can go on. The way you carry yourself, the way you talk to the other contestants. I mean, are you showing queenly material enough? Everything. Yeah. And they should remember everything they're doing is being watched. Mm. There are cameras in the house. Mm -hmm. There are people in the control room watching how you behave. Mm. You can only pretend to a, a, a little extent. Exactly. At some point, your true character will come mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So That's just be thing. yourself. Preach, sister. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Pleasure. Oh, so and we do have best. some of the marks for the thank TV3. You. Oh, um, give it to me first. <laughs> <laughs> presenters as well, and then we'll okay. give some to the ladies as well. Awesome. So yeah, I'll present you for Thank the, for you. The oh, this is beautiful. GMB so, United. Yes, we and have that's GMB what we have on. Imprinted yes. on it as well. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and any for our viewers at yes. any point, maybe eventually, right? Eventually. Eventually, yeah. eventually you'll get. But thank you so much. Uh, this is from our GMB Queens. Mm. And we absolutely love this. We'll rock it for you. Sure, please. And we're supporting you, you in spirit. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So much. And so it's been a pleasure speaking to you, Nana. All the from 2007's edition of Ghana's Most Beautiful. Uh, that was the first edition and uh, she's been, she's lived through it and is here to tell us her story. And also Ama is the winner for 2010. And now she's a proprietress and so good having you both on.